Why should society worry about changes in the oceans that might be associated with either natural variations or some of the activities that we're pursuing, especially fossil fuel emissions? Well, we gain all kinds of benefits from the ocean. Climate stability is probably the most important. One of the things that we're doing in my lab is to try and understand how animals respond not just to changing ocean acidity, but also to simultaneous changes in oxygen and temperature on the time scales that upwelling may change. We know now from recent observations due to the, some of the technology we developed here at Ambari that conditions in the coastal ocean change far faster and far more than we see in the open ocean. And considering that that's where most of the biota are that we depend upon, all of the fisheries live in the coastal ocean, we need to understand how those animals will respond to change. A couple things are going on in my lab to try and do that. We've created an upwelling simulator so that we can simulate upwelling conditions, changing temperature, oxygen, and the acidity of the water, and then expose animals to those conditions to see how they perform, either in terms of their physiology or in terms of their interactions with other species. The second thing that we're doing in our lab, uh, as a collaboration with some others at Ambari here, are developing free ocean CO2 enrichment systems, termed FOS. And in shallow water, we're installing a system this year that will allow us to have mesocosms, small chambers on the seabed, that we can change the acidity in over long time scales. So we can have an experiment for months long to try and evaluate how will whole communities or assemblages of species react to changes in ocean acidity. For example, sand apps, something you may have uh, eaten in a local restaurant, live along the coast and we're focusing on sand apps to see how they will tolerate long-term changes in ocean acidity while they're still living in a relatively natural environment. FOS technology developed here at Ambari has been used in several settings around the world from the Antarctic to coral reefs in Australia helping us to understand how changes in ocean acidity may affect real communities, assemblages of species that are living in the ocean but have a small chamber around them that is a little bit richer in acidity to see how that acidity affects their performance and their interactions among species. We know that all organisms have some capacity for adaptation. The real question is not whether they can adapt, it's whether they'll be able to adapt fast enough and far enough to keep up with the pace of environmental change that we are driving through our CO2 emissions. And that's one of the big challenges for the science community in the next hundred years. What's going to happen in terms of how this will all play out in terms of adaptation in the future ecosystems that we have? Will they retain their ability to function in the way they do now and provide all of the benefits we depend upon?